The earth filled with lot of stuffs. We are also a part of the earth. Here we are going to see something, which makes the earth fulfill for live life here. Sand is a granular material composed of finely divided mineral particles. Sand has various compositions but is defined by its grain size. Sand grains are smaller than gravel and coarser than silt. Sand can also refer to a textural class of soil or soil type, i.e., a soil containing more than 85% sand-sized particles by mass. While sand may seem like an everyday item that is relatively simple, countless types of sand can be used for different applications. Much of the sand type revolves around the grain size, with smaller grains and types being better used for intricate construction projects. The sand particles which are picked up by the sandstorm are larger than dust particles. It is thought that the particles also fall to the ocean, significantly affecting the marine ecosystem. The sea, connected as the world ocean or simply the ocean, is the body of salty water that covers approximately 71% of the Earth's surface. The word sea is also used to denote second-order sections of the sea, such as the Mediterranean Sea, as well as certain large, entirely landlocked, saltwater lakes, such as the Caspian Sea. The sea moderates Earth's climate and has important roles in the water, carbon, and nitrogen cycles. Humans harnessing and studying the sea have been recorded since ancient times, and evidenced well into prehistory, while its modern scientific study is called oceanography. The most abundant solid dissolved in seawater is sodium chloride. The water also contains salts of magnesium, calcium, potassium, and mercury, amongst many other elements, some in minute concentrations. Salinity varies widely being lower near the surface and the mouths of large rivers and higher in the depths of the ocean, however, the relative proportions of dissolved salts vary little across the oceans. A river is a natural flowing watercourse, usually fresh water, flowing towards an ocean, sea, lake or another river. In some cases, a river flows into the ground and becomes dry at the end of its course without reaching another body of water. Small rivers can be referred to using names such as Greek, brook, rivulet, and drill. There are no official definitions for the generic term river as applied to geographic features. One. Although in some countries or communities a stream is defined by its size. Many names for small rivers are specific to geographic location, examples are run in some parts of the United States, burn in Scotland and Northeast England, and beck in Northern England. Sometimes a river is defined as being larger than a creek, too, but not always, the language is vague. One.
A continent is any of several large land masses. Generally identified by convention rather than any strict criteria, up to seven geographical regions are commonly regarded as continents. Ordered from largest in area to smallest, these seven regions are, Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia. Variations with fewer continents may merge some of these, for example America, Eurasia, or Afro-Eurasia are sometimes treated as single continents, which can bring the total number as low as four. Zealandia, a largely submerged mass of continental crust, has also been described as a continent. Animals are multicellular, eukaryotic organisms in the biological kingdom Animalia. With few exceptions, animals consume organic material, breathe oxygen, are able to move, can reproduce sexually, and go through an ontogenetic stage in which their body consists of a hollow sphere of cells, the blastula, during embryonic development. Over 1.5 million living animal species have been described of which around 1 million are insects, but it has been estimated there are over 7 million animal species in total. Animals range in length from 8.5 micrometers in, to 33.6 meters 110 feet. They have complex interactions with each other and their environments, forming intricate food webs. The scientific study of animals is known as zoology. Birds are a group of warm-blooded vertebrates constituting the class Aves, slash IVZ slash, characterized by feathers, toothless beak jaws, the laying of hard-shelled eggs, a high metabolic rate, a four-chambered heart, and a strong yet lighter-weight skeleton. Birds live worldwide and range in size from the 5.5 cm, 2 point some birds, including ratites, penguins, and diverse endemic island species. The digestive and respiratory systems of birds are also uniquely adapted for flight. Some bird species of aquatic environments, particularly seabirds and some water birds, have further evolved for swimming. In botany, a tree is a perennial plant with an elongated stem, or trunk, usually supporting branches and leaves. In some usages, the definition of a tree may be narrower including only woody plants with secondary growth, 
plants that are usable as lumber or plants above a specified height. In wider definitions, the taller palms, tree ferns, bananas, and bamboos are also trees. Trees are not a taxonomic group but include a variety of plant species that have independently evolved a trunk and branches as a way to tower above other plants to compete for sunlight. The majority of tree species are angiosperms or hardwoods, of the rest, many are gymnosperms or softwoods. Trees tend to be long-lived, some reaching several thousand years old. Trees have been in existence for 370 million years. It is estimated that there are around 3 trillion mature trees in the world. Plants are predominantly photosynthetic eukaryotes of the kingdom Plantae. Historically, the plant kingdom encompassed all living things that were not animals, and included algae and fungi, however, all current definitions of Plantae exclude the fungi and some algae, as well as the prokaryotes, the archaea and bacteria. A mountain is an elevated portion of the Earth's crust, generally with steep sides that show significant exposed bedrock. Although definitions vary, a mountain may differ from a plateau in having a limited summit area, and is usually higher than a hill, typically rising at least 300 meters, 1,000 feet, above the surrounding land. A few mountains are isolated summits, but most occur in mountain ranges. Mountains are formed through tectonic forces, erosion, or volcanism, which act on time scales of up to tens of millions of years. Once mountain building ceases, mountains are slowly leveled through the action of weathering, through slumping and other forms of mass wasting, as well as through erosion by rivers and glaciers. Humans, Homo sapiens, are the most abundant and widespread species of primate, characterized by bipedalism and exceptional cognitive skills due to a large and complex brain. This has enabled the development of advanced tools, culture, and language. Humans are highly social and tend to live in complex social structures composed of many cooperating and competing groups, from families and kinship networks to political states. Social interactions between humans have established a wide variety of values, social norms, and rituals, which bolster human society. Its intelligence and its desire to understand and influence the environment and to explain and manipulate phenomena have motivated humanity's development of science, philosophy, mythology, religion, and other fields of study.